Some big news out of the CDC. In the past day, the CDC announced its recommendation of the first of its kind vaccine to prevent babies from getting RSV. That's a severe respiratory illness and the leading cause of hospitalizations in infants, according to the agency. Tonight, 11 Live's Brittany Klein-Peter has details of when the vaccine could be available and spoke with a family involved in the drug's clinical trials. The long acting monoclonal April Jones effect. says reading the official announcement yeah. from the CDC the that there is finally a drug to prevent yeah. RSV in infants mm -hmm. yeah. is um, life changing after what her family has experienced. And Lillian and Luke, my youngest, were the two that were hospitalized for RSV. The mother of four had three children contract the virus, two of which were hospitalized because of it. My youngest son was born in 2016. He was three weeks old when he uh, developed or caught RSV. And so from that, he went on to children's and was hospitalized for more than a month. And then they ended up asking us if we'd like to participate in the um, research portion of this new preventative drug for RSV. And that preventative drug was Bayfortis, which will now become the first CDC recommended drug for infants to prevent RSV. And I remember thinking like, oh, um, maybe one day this will, you know, down the road 10 years, this will be something. According to the CDC, it has been shown to reduce RSV hospitalizations in infants by about 80 percent and is expected to be available by the fall, which doctors say is when the RSV season starts. It's different from an active vaccine in that it doesn't provide an active immune response to the product, but rather it provides an antibody that lasts through the whole of RSV season that can protect, protect symptoms when they're at their most vulnerable time period from RSV. And for families like April's, it's life changing. We are thankful that we got to be a little tiny part of it. Um, it's a full circle moment. In Atlanta, Brittany Klein Peter, 11 Alive News. The CDC voted unanimously to recommend the injection last night. The shot is intended for two groups. So the first is for babies up to eight months old entering the RSV season. The second is for infants eight to 19 months old who are at an increased risk of severe RSV. They also recommended that newborns born close to the RSV season should get the shot in their first week of life.